Danika from DC Woodworks and I'm gonna show you guys how to epoxy cement live edge. In this video, we're gonna go over what I would change next time, what I've learned, and if I would do it again. Yeah, we're gonna have to make one of dining table clock kitchen with these kind of screws. These kind of screws, you have to screw in wood. So first you got to cut your boards. Um, I did wish I went a little bit longer, but I'll know for next time. Second regret and second thing I would change um, is to get a proper draw knife or a bigger chisel when you're trying to take off your bar. Sand your boards down to about 220 grit and then bring them to a level flat surface. I'm in the process of flipping my workshop so I had to bring them inside. Full epoxy pours um, are usually done with the face down but I've decided to do it the other way since the cement upwards is what we're going to see. So flip your boards over and tape any holes or bubbles that could possibly leak out any cement. I'm only doing the center of the table so I didn't see it was completely necessary to build an entire form. So I just covered a couple of boards with my tuck tape and made sure that the table stayed completely square. Another lesson learned is I would cut a board to the exact height of the table um, because eventually I'm going to flip this over and realize that I've created two sets of legs. So I did end up putting it on my island top, um, but if you want to leave it flat on your floor, make sure that the boards are the exact height. Now you need to tape it again. Um, I did find a couple of metal plates that I put on underneath this, but again, if you're going to be putting it on a flat surface, like the floor, then you don't need those. My thought process is cement holds water, um, so I figured to protect the wood, I would just put on a varathane coat where the cement will touch and in hopes that it will stay protected. I'm pretty sure this will work. Again, I think this will work. Um, I did put on probably five or six coats. You don't see this here, so that way there's a good layer between. And the table is inside, so I can't see it holding much moisture, but just to be safe, um, I would definitely do this step again. I didn't buy rebar. I figured if I got galvanized screws, then I could kind of create like a skeleton that would weave in and out of the cement. I ordered a black onyx dye on Amazon because I didn't want the traditional gray cement, so this would make it a lot darker. I do suggest getting concrete that doesn't have little rocks in it. I didn't check this. Um, it did add texture, but I think for like a smoother putting like consistency once you add the water, I would definitely do no rocks next time. I'm not gonna lie, when I started to pour this in, I thought, what did I do? I've ruined both these slabs. Um, I'm gonna have to throw it out so it went in pretty chunky but the, I've had this idea in my mind for so long that I would not be able to be content if I didn't see it through to the end make sure you have something there that you can smooth your concrete out with I ended up having to use a kitchen spatula but it came off once I wiped it and washed it so don't worry I'm not gonna eat rocks now make sure that your cement is fully level and washed off the table when it's wet because I think it might be harder to do when it's dry. Um, I'm not sure. Didn't find out. So prep your boards properly. That way you have less mess afterwards. When the concrete dried, it was a little bit flat. I mean, it is concrete. So to give it a little bit of texture, I just went over with some gold spray paint before I stained my boards. Cement takes a full 28 days to cure, but after four of them, you are able to take your forms off and your table is not going to go anywhere. Six hours into cure time, once the kids were in bed, um, I went back and just sort of textured it with the spatula again. That's the track marks you see, and went over with a little bit more gold spray paint, and I actually loved the way that it turned out. So the epoxy I use is self-leveling, and it won't actually roll off the table. Um, I've tested it, it's true, but I did put a little bit of tape on just to be safe. 
The Verthane pour-on epoxy is half and half, so it couldn't be any easier. Stir them for about two minutes together and pour it on your table. I poured in three separate pours, so the first one is just for the really deeper cracks. Once that was dry, put the second layer on, which sort of leveled it out, and the third one brought it up flush with the wood. Now the part you don't see is I took my hair dryer and I just went over the epoxy right after I poured it to bring all the bubbles to the surface. It took about two minutes and then it was completely clear. 72 hours later, you can take your tape off and your table's done. You don't need to sand it, it's good to go. So what I've learned doing this project is to have some patience. Um, I was so impatient to get this table together that Next time, now that I know the beauty that it possibly can have, um, I'm gonna add some patience.